this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of Sniper Chem Stall on Samuel and TT. Oh my Oh my dear god. Don't let the fact that you can apply a sniper cam stall on Samuel MTT and get his long shots jacked off all the way up to 91 distract you from the fact that you could put Samuel MTT in a squad and then also have a manager named C Tits as the manager. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 85 flashback Samuel MTT episodia that is right today. We are yesterday, I should say. We got ourselves a flashback MTT hearkening back to his FIFA 17 once to watch item, which interestingly, interestingly was an 82 rated and actually uh, pulled off the very rare thing for a once to watch item to do, and that is to get an upgrade. Uh, but like I said, boys, today we're looking at the, I believe, 168 total in game stat upgrade over his base card, gets a massive, massive pace jacked off, uh, and becomes the highest rated. Liga center back. Now, I know the community is not exactly split. I would say, you know, if you take a look at the footbin rating, if you take a look at the community consensus, uh, the, the consensus seems to be that this card is way, uh, way more expensive than it needs to be, or at least way more expensive than anyone is worth putting uh, putting value into. So, it's around 80,000 coins. I think it's five SBCs that is required. Uh, an 85, I believe an 84, and then also an 83. None of them require informs, uh, but those are pretty high-rated squads to, uh, to ask for if you consider uh, what stage of the game we're in right now. So, he's available for five more days. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, Sway, is he worth it? You know, if you consider that, uh, you know, he, he just is the most well-balanced. I'm not trying to push this card on anyone, but he is just the most balanced card in La Liga. Comes in at a cheeky 2,000 coins. The most expensive one is Militao. If you can, you can get a Militao in Kunde for literally less than half the price of this entire SBC. Some of the other cards in La Liga lack a little bit something, whether it's strength, whether it's defending, some of the, you know, some of the defensive awareness, a stat that a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on this year, given that pace is as crazy as it was in years prior um, uh, it means a whole lot more and you know this year you take a look at the 78 pace it is maximally it is massively massively jacked off compared to the base card but some people might point out the fact that 79 acceleration 78 sprint speed just really isn't all that so we're gonna take him into a couple games today we're gonna see if he might be worth it smash like on the episode if you guys are using him TT and then C tits is the manager as well just because you're an absolute degen if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below smash a like if you're an absolute mad lad so uh, let's pop into it he gets low medium work rates, right? So low attacking, uh, medium defensive. Uh, he's left footed. He's two star skill moves, three star weak foot. He's six foot. So he's got a good bit of height on him. He's got the 79 acceleration, 78 sprint speed, which is right in that territory, at least I think for the next month, maybe month and a half, maybe even two months, you know, depending on, uh, uh, depending on uh, how fast the, uh, you know, how fast the meta gets, I suppose is, is fine. And then I take a look at a set of stats that just absolutely speak to me specifically. 98 shot power with 91 long shots if you put the sniper chem style on him. I know no one in the right mind is you doing this on his card, but I thought because we're just trying to have a little bit of fun on a Tuesday, let's see if he can bang goals from distance. He's got 75 dribbling, which is fine. 70 balance, which uh, for a center back is fine, which, you know, maybe if that was 75, 80, it'd be a little bit better. Has the 84 reactions, has the 86 defensive awareness, and then that strength and aggression combo. I think that's really what sets this card apart. Again, I'm not saying that this is, uh, that this makes it worth it by any means. I think he should probably be around maybe 50, 60, uh, just because he does have really good stats in a whole lot of categories. Has really good, um, uh, like I said, the 84 reactions, the 76 ball control, the 77 composure, 67 dribbling is pretty good for a uh, is pretty good for a center back, and then pretty decent passing stats. What I'm saying about Umtiti, he's kind of the best of all the cards in the Liga into one but still is super expensive. So uh, we're going to see if maybe he might be worth it today. We're going to be running him in a, uh, we're going to be running him in a La Liga squad, Aurelian Chuameni, who looks like an absolutely ridiculous card with a shadow chem style for an 82 rated inform. Looks ridiculous. Defending stats look really, really good with the shadow. 88 stamina with 85 strength. Really good on the ball. Has has adequate passing stats. Even has a little bit of finishing. Uh, just looks like one of the more uh, one of the one of those hidden cards that you can get for 15, 16k. Without any further ado, boys, let's get into match number one with this flashback Umtiti. We're going to be paying very close attention to how he plays. If he's fast enough, if he's strong enough, uh, which we're expecting him to be. Match number one, Alice. Alright, so the first thing I want to see how he feels on the ball. Um, again, you're not looking for your. Yeah. Come on, Umtiti. I mean, you're not you're, you're you're not looking you're not looking for your center backs to be uh you're, you're not looking for okay gets right back into position you're not looking for your center backs to be uh to to be Neymar. Okay. I'm <laughs> All right, calm down, bro. 
I think I'm still suffering from a little bit of PTSD from the fact that that uh, draft token SPC is requiring an 84 rated squad. 15k! Alright, nice little, uh, yeah, n nice little, uh... That's what 79 sprint speed, 78 acceleration looks like right there. Defensive awareness obviously was a, a important stat last year. I'm not going to say that it's more important this year than it was last year, but pace definitely on the defense. You don't need, you know, like I, I, I say it again. You know, we're, during the off season when we saw the off season during um during the summer when all the when all the player ratings were were revealed, everyone was talking about like you know how Pepe was going to be sick, how you know the uh, that that uh, that center back for uh, for for Ajax was going to be absolutely crazy because they've you know they have that 81 plus uh, 81 plus pace. And, uh... Just said, pick up beat the case! Sebulum TT Naruto run. He's got nine... Dude! Nice. Lovely little ball control in Umtit. Good Good defensive positioning. Yeah, that, dude, Dal David Alaba is just... David Alaba is so solid. He's just such a solid card, man. So smart! And then it, that's a situation right there. Was that Thomas Muller? Just to fart on it. To fart on his bike. Yo, Teleska's nuts. I'll tell you who's nuts, though. My keeper. Who the hell... Wait, who's my keeper? David Alaba, man. Yeah. And David Alba's 2K. See, that's a situation. I mean, obviously, Sar is an absolute monster, and he's, he he beats me in the last minute. That's a situation where you want uh, you you want an anchor, you want a shadow on uh, you you want an anchor or shadow on him, TT. His tackle success rate was eight out of thirteen, so that's pretty damn decent. Eighty six percent dribble success rate. Obviously, we're tryharding a little bit. I mean, look at the uh, look at his heat map. We even have him getting forward a little bit as well. Uh, and then shooting stats. We took eight shots. Four of them were on target, and then one was a goal. Uh, and then obviously, you know, we want to be using uh, we, we want to be using his left because that's what we're going to try and do with the finesse. And let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the goal. Let's take a look at the Samuel MTT goal. Uh, again, for those of you guys that have fantasies about scoring from distance with a center back, uh, Samuel MTT is a guy that's gonna uh, that's gonna be able to help you do that. Okay. See, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't love that. I want that to be a way more decisive. I want that to be a way more decisive tackle. I literally just tried passing to the ref because he's green. See, that's what I'm... Dude, David, David Alaba? Alaba's 2K. He's nuts. Yeah, he's, he's, he's ridiculous. I don't like that. I don't I don't like that at all. If I miss if I miss this, I'm deleting FIFA. Woof! Yana Carrasco, Maluma baby, let's go. Oof. Bro, mission control to Samuel Mtiti, bro. Alaba, dude. Oh my! Oh my dear God! Samuel Mtiti with the power blast. Wait, what? Don't tell me that was with his right foot. Was that with his right? Bro. That's with his right foot, man. What the hell? Samuel Mtiti. Don't let that 67 shooting distract you, man. He's got trash finishing. He's got trash volleys or whatever the hell it is. But his... Uh, <laughs> not that anyone not that anyone in their right mind would do this SPC just because he's got the distance bangers, but... Oh, 
All right, one on one with Vin one on one vi with Vinicius Jr. Nice little, uh, yeah. I mean, like he's 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 got he's got strength. The only thing, obviously, we're lacking on him right now with the uh, with, with the with the setup that we have right now is is a little bit of pace. What a pass! What a finish, too! Wow! Enorme la recuperación del balón. Ponte imaginación en ese pase. There we go, Kareem the Dream Benzema. He tried to foul me. I ain't having it, dude. All right. So we've done the, we've done everything that we need to do with uh, with Umtiti. I almost don't even care about winning this match. I just want to get another. Just want to score another distance banger with the Umtits. I almost don't even care about winning this match. I just want to get another. Just want to score another distance banger with the Umtits. Oh! Wait, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. Yo, Umtits. Oh, my dear Lord. Okay. Um, all right. Well, listen. At the end of the day, that was just a little bit of fun. Samuel Umtiti with the distance bangers, man. If that had gone in and we would have equalized with a Samuel Umtiti distance banger, that would have been maybe one of... That, that might have been the best goal that we would have scored in all of FIFA 22. Wow. That is going to do it for the long shot center back. Uh, managed to bang in two goals from distance and hit the crossbar, I think, three or four times in this episode. So was a lot of fun to use. Again, anyone in the right mind would use an anchor or shadow on this card. Uh, I did not, but uh, value for coins. Again, Alaba just proved that he was, I'm not going to say better than Umtiti, but the fact that he's 2,000 coins. And I can only imagine that Akunde or... Uh, uh, Akunde or uh, I'm drawing a blank on who else, but I mean, uh, Kunde and Alaba, I think would be an incredible, incredible pairing, uh, in La Liga. Kunde's got the bandana, so it looks sick, like, from that respect, but in terms of value, if he was, like, 60, 65k, I'd probably give him three and a half, but I'm gonna give him two out of five stars. Again, 85 rated, the highest rated, uh, La Liga center back, so there is value to be had there. Probably the most balanced and probably the most well-rounded, uh, card, but again, just the value in terms of the 80,000 requirement is not there. On the pitch performance, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say three and a half out of five. The only reason I'm not gonna give him the full four uh, is because I did feel, um, I, I did feel like a, a players got through him a little bit too easily. Has that 95 strength, has ridiculous, ridiculous aggression. Um, and I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I felt like players were able to get through him a little bit, uh, a little bit too easily. Not sure if it's something to do with his body type or whatnot, uh, but uh, wasn't super, super, super convincing. He was, however, convincing from distance, hitting the crossbar three times and then banging two goals from distance but uh that is gonna do it for the episode you boys again swerve it you know if you if, if you've got the excess fodder and you're running you know you're a barca supporter and you want to put together a past and present i'm sure the flashback is going to appeal to you in some way uh but for me it's just uh it's just a swerve i'm a bundesliga Serie A boy again i leave that out of the equation in terms of the value uh and how i see the card but um you know, if you got the excess fodder and you're running a La Liga squad and maybe you're a Barca supporter, I could uh, I could see a situation where you'd want to get this done. He's a very good card, but he's just not worth the value. I think he needs to be about 60, 65K in order to feel confident uh, in completing him. But that is going to do it for the episode, you boys. If you guys did enjoy, smash like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.